Physicists have used a quantum computer to settle a 100-year-old debate. Is the wave function real? The wave function is what we use in quantum physics to describe literally everything, even the entire universe. But just because we can use it to describe the universe doesn't mean that's what the universe really is. Well, the authors of the new paper say they've shown that this is what the universe really is. How? And what does it mean? Let's have a look. The wave function in quantum mechanics, usually denoted with a big psi, is not directly observable. We just use it to calculate probabilities for measurement outcomes. The wave function might tell us, for example, that there's a 10% probability for a photon to appear in a certain place on a screen. But the wave function alone doesn't tell us what the outcome will be. Quantum mechanics just doesn't predict it. It's fundamentally not deterministic. One way to explain this lack of predictability is to say, well, maybe the wave function is just an average description that lacks details. It's like we're talking about throwing dice. If you don't know exactly what positions the dice were in, all you can do is give a probability for the outcome. And even if you knew the positions precisely, it'd be difficult. These details which are missing in the wave function are usually called hidden variables. If there are hidden variables, then the wave function is called epistemic, which means it describes our knowledge about reality. It's not itself real. In an interview with New Scientist, one of the authors of the new paper said, we can rule out the epistemic interpretation. If that was right, it'd be huge. Albert Einstein famously thought that quantum mechanics is incomplete and must have such hidden variables because of what happens in a measurement. Think back of the photon, which had a 10% probability to appear in one place on the screen. Once we've measured it, we know where it is with 100% probability. We then have to update the wave function. Sometimes it's called the collapse or reduction of the wave function. If you think the wave function just describes knowledge, that makes sense. It's not a real process. If you think the wave function is real, then this update is faster than light. This is Einstein's spooky action at a distance. Einstein thought it shouldn't exist. The authors of the new paper now want to settle the question of whether there is a reality underlying the wave function and rule out hidden variables. And as New Scientist writes, they have revealed that the wave function is a real thing. For this, they use what's called the PBR theorem named after Pusey, Barrett and Rudolf. It's a clever idea that roughly works like this. They say, look, the key property of quantum mechanics is that you can have states with no definite measurement outcome. So suppose you have a wave function of, say, a photon again in a state A that always goes to the left side of the screen and one in state B that always goes right. Then you can have a photon in the state A plus B with a suitable normalization that'll go either way 50-50. You could make this state, for example, with a beam splitter. They then say, in a hidden variable theory, this A plus B wave function must contain the hidden variables of the only A and only B states. That is, in the underlying theory, there must be an overlap in the hidden variables between A plus B and A and between A plus B and B. The issue is that in quantum physics, you can look at the wave function of two particles, which is then a product of the individual particles. What the PBR theorem comes down to is that there are examples of a state A and a state A plus B with suitable coefficients, where a quantum mechanical measurement needs to give the result zero, but there are no choices of hidden variables that'll make that work. This is exactly what they did in the new experiment. They did it on a quantum computer and encoded the exact PBR protocol. And would you know it, it gave the result that quantum mechanics predicts. Okay, amazing. No one could have seen that coming. But does this show now? 
that the wave function is real? The answer is no, for two separate reasons. One is that this test can't rule out hidden variables. Remember that the PBR theorem says that the hidden variables of a state like A plus B must be a combination of the hidden variables for A and B. There's no reason for this to be the case. Suppose you describe the state A in the hidden variables theory with the number 1. Whenever the value of the hidden variable is 1, the particle goes left. When the state is B, the value is 2 and the particle goes right. And when it's A plus B, then the hidden variables are 3 and 4. That test can't rule this out. The other issue with the PBR theorem is that what it tells us about the reality of the wave function is hugely overstated. Physicists have debated what the wave function means since the early days of quantum physics. Niels Bohr, who's often credited with being the father of the Copenhagen interpretation, used to argue that the wave function isn't real. It's rather a way to describe our knowledge of the system. This is exactly what psi epistemic means. But in terms of the PBR theorem, the Copenhagen interpretation is psi ontic because it doesn't have hidden variables. So the very opposite of what Niels Bohr made his entire interpretation about. This is ultimately a matter of definition, but I think it doesn't further the discussion if physicists redefine words as they like. Still, I give this paper 0 out of 10 on the bullshit meter. This is because on the paper, they're actually very careful. They don't claim they've ruled out either hidden variables or that the wave function is epistemic. It's just that what they told new scientists was something else. In summary, we still don't know whether the wave function is real. And that's just as well, because imagine we'd finally make sense of quantum mechanics. It'd be tragic. So many people would lose their hobby. Now excuse me while I work on my revolutionary reinterpretation of quantum mechanics. Yes, I do read a lot of news and know that chatbots still aren't any good at writing my scripts. But what does help me a lot is Ground News. Ground News is a news platform that collects and summarizes news which has been published all over the world. Not only do they collect all articles on the same story in one place and give you a quick summary, they also give you a lot of extra information that you don't find in the standard media. Take for example this recent story about the the new UN climate report. Ground News gives you a brief summary at one glance. You can also see that, somewhat surprisingly, the coverage leans heavily to the right. You also get a factuality check, can see who owns the media outlets and a world map that shows you where the news has appeared. Ground News also has this great feature called Blind Spot. This tells you which news has been almost exclusively covered only by one side of the political spectrum. And of course, I have a special offer for you. That's a 40% discount on the Vantage plan, which gives you access to all their features. All you need to do is use my link ground.news Zabine or use the QR code. So go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.